Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. <laughs> James Robert Cohen for the crimes of kidnapping, theft of an occupied dwelling, cannibalism, and the murders of Jennifer Hawson, Talia Esteban, Nate McDonald, Bernard Benson, Charles Krugman, Rebecca Falange, and Christopher Schrader. You have been sentenced to death by the state of Florida. Do you have any final words before your punishment is carried out? Yes, I do. Yeah! You're next! Can you help this man? He's dead. And what about this poor sinner? Can you know. help him? He's gone. Oh, God forgive him. So, Mrs. Paul. How's your husband doing this morning? Yeah, he's just starting to wake up now. Uh, is my new dick okay? Yes, the penis transplant was a complete success. We managed to retain about 80% of the function. However, you're not going to have much sensation until the nerve endings heal completely. Oh, it's good, man. I don't want to get on your nerves, man. I just want to stand when I pee. Scratch my new balls when I watch the game. And I promise if I ever shoot it off again, it's gonna be on Darlene's ass. Dr. Hudson, I had a few questions I wanted to ask. Uh, I wanna know about the implant. They didn't tell us how substantial it is. Uh, yes, we were able to remove all of your husband's shrapnel from his accidental discharge. Uh, attach a new urethra and install some prosthetic testicles. We also added a few skin grafts, uh, which we obtained from Andrew's buttock. Uh, I would say overall the operation was a complete success. Oh, <laughs> always nice to get a high five after a good surgery. Do you know where the implant came from? Like, was his name Tyrese, Tyrone, Malcolm? Uh, no, those uh, records are kept confidential. All I know is that he was a healthy man in his mid-40s, non-smoker, with uh, negative results for HIV and hepatitis. It was a perfect organ for transplant. Were there any requirements? Like, did they pick the best one? Of course. Um, blood type, age, uh, clean bill of health, obviously. Do I have to spell it out for you? Did he go from fun size to king size? Is he big enough to get to Magic Mountain or do I have to keep taking really long showers? Did you give him a big cock or do I have to keep loving him for his... personality? No need to be graphic, Mrs. Paul. I can assure you it's over 400 cubic centimeters. Just make sure that Andrew gets a good night's sleep and no hanky-panky for the next three weeks. Night, babe. Love you. Love you too. You want to cuddle? No, I have to wake up early to take a long shower. All right. Good night. Night.
Speed. Speed. Mm. Malcolm, I'm too tired. I can't go again. Man, white bitches won't wake up for shit when you give them good dick. I guess it's true what they say. <laughs> Once you go black, you never come back. Andy, it's 8 in the fucking morning. My parents are going to be here in an hour. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Hudson. All right, so I just talked to him. He just said, leave it on ice, and we'll see him on Monday, so just relax. How am I supposed to relax? I found my penis in the front porch this morning. Now it's a dick sickle. Well, we have to meet my new stepdad, so it's just two days, so just chill the fuck out. Okay, Jose is not your stepdad. He's a gay 24-year-old Mexican who paid your mother to make him a citizen. Well, he's the best that she could do. <sighs> Honey, Honey, we're, we're here. here. And I picked some flowers from the garden as a centerpiece for the table. But we don't have a garden. <laughs> he had to look all over the city to find the most beautiful flowers. I found a man on Craigslist named Kevin. He said I could take anything from the garden that I wanted. He made me wait in the car an hour and a half while he did his botany. But he came back with the most beautiful flowers. Well, sometimes it takes a lot of time to pick the best kind of fruit. <laughs> uh, let's, let's go out. Let's go get some breakfast, you guys. It's been a long drive. You cut, Kids, go ahead. I'm going to rest these bones. Well, my bones are up. I could use some pancakes. Are you sure, Mom? Of course she's sure. It's okay. I'm gonna rest. You guys go ahead. I'll take in the flowers on the table for the arrangement. All right, I guess we'll see you later. Wonderful. Catch you later, amigos. So, Andrew, how's the new dick? It's fine, Jose. It's fine. Thank you for asking. Okay, see you later. Have a good time. Oh. Been waiting all day, finally. something else to play with. Oh, she better have a cucumber in here. Oh, pickles? No. Celery, tomato, oh, baby oh. carrots, cucumber. Oh, 
soy on ice. These kids these days. My mother always told me the quickest way to a woman's heart is through her snatch. I forgot. I'm allergic to yeast. So Andrew, if your dick doesn't work, do they give you a new one? If you break your asshole, do you get a new one? And why would I break my asshole? I don't know, maybe you hey. and your buddy Kevin, what? My mom isn't here and she left a note. What's it say? Dear family, I have decided to take a very long walk. If I do not come back, please do not look for me. I promise I am fine and not dead. Sincerely, mom. P.S. Don't eat the baby carrots. Where do you think she went? I don't know, but I'm gonna go try to find her. Let me know if you find her. Can I come with you? I don't want to be with this fucking guy. Oh! She wasn't kidding, these are gross. They're all right. They're just a little old. So what do you want to do now? I don't know, it's going to be a long shower time. Ooh, what's with the knife, amigo? You look dangerous enough on your own. Jose, you all right in there? You, what's going on? You okay? Jose! What happened? What happened to you? What's, what happened to you? Who did this to you? Jose! What happened? What happened to you? What the hell happened to you? Who did this to you? What the hell happened? Shoot yourself in the dick twice. You were never my dick.
I'm not doing this, Archer. That was an order, not a request, Lieutenant. How many dicks did you have to touch before you became sergeant? What was that? No. Oh, what the fuck was that? Are you okay? I don't know, Sarge.